Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax, the channel that's here to help you figure out how to build your dream garage. And today I'm going to go over why my ARE cap cost me $3,600. So let's jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. If you're a longtime subscriber, always good to have you back. If you stick around till the end of the video, I'm going to announce the winner of the October giveaway for my $150 OmniWall Power Tool Organization Set. Every month here on the channel, I do a giveaway. Sometimes it's an Amazon gift card, sometimes it's some OmniWall Tool Organization Set. So be sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss out on November's giveaway. I'm going to be announcing that in the next video. So guys, right behind me is my ARE CX series fiberglass topper and this is my 2020 Jeep Gladiator launch edition you see I am building out my Jeep Gladiator to be an overlanding Jeep Gladiator for when I go camping without my family now I decided to go with the ARE Kappa because I do not want to put a rooftop tent in and luckily I'm short and wide and I fit perfectly diagonally in the back of the bed with everything closed so I'll be using the back as my camper now I'm gonna be doing a lot more things to my Jeep Gladiator so make sure you subscribe if you want to follow along but today we're talking about how this topper cost me $3,600 so let's go over all the options I have on this topper firstly ARE does the color match standard and just the fiberglass topper itself without any options costs $1,819 now moving on to the driver's side I did something unique here and I'm getting a lot of questions as to why I did it I decided to put a color matched panel opening up to a toolbox that option for the color matched door panel was $280 and the toolbox inside was $210 now I am planning on putting my dog in the back during some trips and with that there's no heat in the back so I'm planning on running a pipe from the cab to the the back so I put a rear sliding glass window in there making sure the cap and the cab can uh, have a, a pass through and that costs $75 moving on to the passenger side and right behind me you can see there is one glass window that glass window actually slides open and there's a mosquito net in there so when I am camping I can actually get some air in there or if I have my dog in the back he can get some air as well that actually came standard with the topper for zero dollars moving on to the rear hatch I decided decided to put the two latch locking system on the back I figured why not instead of just that single one in the middle there's two locking points that cost me an additional $30 so when you open up the back hatch I actually put one strip of LEDs down the center or the top of the cab to shine into the bed there's also a light at the back of the cab shining into the bed as well that cost me $170 that can also be turned on to stay on when you're inside the cap and the cap is closed or or you can just set it to automatically turn on when you open the cap now I decided to put a roof rack on here this standard cap the CX series can hold 350 pounds so been told you can get an HD version but the dealer was unsure if they would do it on the gladiator which would bump up the loading capacity to 550 pounds since I'm not going to be sleeping on there and not going to put a rooftop tent this one will work out just fine for all my gear since I'm going to be sleeping in the back and not putting anything in the back there are a couple different options of what Yakima roof racks you could go for I just decided to go with the top of the line that set me back $579 now inside the back of the cab I also opted in for three DC outlets that way I can charge anything while I'm sleeping at night there is an on off switch on that so you don't drain your stuff and if I do decide to put a refrigerator in the back I can easily just have it in the back while I'm driving and when I'm sleeping in the back I can put it in the back seat that option set me back a hundred and ten dollars now with all of the options I've mentioned that brings the grand total to three thousand two hundred and ninety three dollars I live in the Chicago land area where tax is uh, seven and a half percent and that added an additional 250 ish dollars bringing my grand total to 3500 and some change so guys it is a very expensive topper um, a lot of people have also asked me how is the color match I've seen some videos where the color match is not good it is a risk ordering it in a color match but I personally think this color match came out perfect I love how it looks 
Now guys, for $3,600, is it worth it? Well, that's really gonna depend up to you. But let me tell you, in my next video, I'm gonna go over some of the things I actually don't like about this, because for $3,600, you think they could do a little bit better. So guys, make sure you like and subscribe because I'm definitely gonna be doing a lot of videos on this topper. I'm gonna show you how I actually outfit it and how I use it and give you a long-term review. But for now, let's go over the October giveaway and let you know who won the $150 OmniWall Power Tool Organization Set. And the lucky winner of the OmniWall Power Tool Organization Set is John Grant. Thanks a lot for your continued support. It was pretty easy for you to enter. Just let everyone know. All you gotta do is like, subscribe, and leave comments below, and you are automatically entered. So be sure you reach out to me in the comments below so I can get you your organization set. So guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. You don't wanna miss the next video because I'm gonna go over what I don't like about the ARE topper. So until next time, I'll see you then.